white people know shit about shit I never knew. Like white people, are like, you know what type of wood this is? This Man, y'all know a lot of sh just random. Okay, who just shit. told you about positive K? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Welcome to Three Shots With, the interview show that drinks with the world's most interesting people. I'm Nathan Slavik, a refined hype and DJ booth. Right here is a man, I don't want to say I invented this interview series for you, Jaren, but uh, I mean, I kind of did. My man, hey, Jaren Benson here, two and two. Let's not messing around, man. Hey, you know what? I learned this shit in London. When you, when you toast, all right, all right, you gotta look a motherfucker in the eye. Your name's Jaren Benton. That's it. At your actual name, That's your government name. name. You're the type of guy like your your artist is so crazy. I would have kind of expected you to have like a, to a different name. Have you ever thought about any other yep. rap names? Let me tell you these rap names I had. My first name was Jay Smooth. Second name was Jay Siegel. I stopped that because Beanie Siegel came out. Then I changed it to fucking Sonates, which was the word <laughs> satanic backwards. We all gotta go through it, man. You know what's crazy? I was working at fucking Blockbuster Music at the time, and fucking, we had to do the name tags, and I put Sonates is my fucking name on a name tag. Then I was like, this shit just sounds stupid. So this, what was the next one? Apocalypse. And that shit was, that stood, I, I had that shit for a minute, Apocalypse. Let me ask you, was it like Apocalypse, the actual spelling? The actual all sorts fucking of like spelling. And stuff yep, no, nah, hell no, nah, Apocalypse. Okay. But my homeboy, he used to call me Lips. Was short for apocalypse. If you were like in a 1920s gangster, lips would have been kind of cool. tough. That would have been cool as fuck. Yeah. And then I went through some crazy little hold my grandma's basement shit, and I felt like, you know what? Fuck hiding behind the image. I'm gonna just be Jaren Benton. You wanna switch it up? You wanna let's, go do, yeah, let's, let's do uh, Bombay. Okay. Jenga. Use, use a lot of kind of like pop culture references. On Refined Hype, we like to play a little game called Rap Game. Okay. Is this like a hip hop trivia? No, no, no. I was gonna say, Maybe nobody can fuck with me on hip hop trivia. Well, see, now I fucked up. Now you can make me. Oh, uh, yeah, I should have gotten go. some, some hip hop trivia. Alright, fucking K Solo, Red Man, Daz Effects, EPMD. Alright, no, no, I'm, I'm coming strong on number two. No. Niggas with attitudes? Nope. Nope. Nice white Americans. <laughs> uh, oh, shit. Alright, alright, what so are we doing? More, uh, one more Bombay. Bombay. I'm right, right. Bombay. Right. Last question. Here's the situation. Alright. You commit a horrible crime. Okay, I've done, I've done that before. Exactly. So keep it in your head. So bad that instead of putting you in jail, they exile you to a desert island. Okay. Just you. Okay. Right? But they grant you this one mercy. All right. They'll let you take three albums with you okay. to listen to until the day you die, however long you last. Okay. Some things you want to consider. You probably want some variety. Yeah. You know oh, no, I mean? yeah. yeah. Jaron Benton, what are your three Desert Island albums? You know what? I would have to have a Radiohead shuffle. So it would have to be Kid A, Hail to the Thief, even Adams for Peace, and fucking uh, uh, In Rainbows, OK Computer. You gotta pick one. Yeah, but I'm stuck. those are just shuffle. Yeah, yeah. So I'm, that's a, that's like my best of Radiohead CD. Okay. All right, so you put All together. Right. All right, I'll, I'll allow that. You okay. put together a best of Radiohead curated by Jaron Benton. What's your yep. number two album? Uh, shit. Number two, I gotta say, mm, definitely some fucking Outcast. It okay. has to be. Uh, my favorite Outcast Alien, uh, Outcast album of all times is AT Aliens. AT Aliens. So all I right. gotta throw AT Aliens. All in. right. So you got Radiohead, AT Aliens. AT Aliens. Ah, oh, shit, man. Damn, that's this is a good over. question. Think thank you. Thank Let you, me think. Thank you. You gotta pick. Damn. I gotta press you for an answer, man. Fuck, man. Damn. You know what? We'll do it. We'll do it. I'm an gonna update. do. I'm gonna do. Damn, because I don't want. This. We'll do. We'll do an update. We'll do an update episode. I'll yeah. bring you back, and you can think it over more. But to be continued. To be continued. Hey, this All is right. just like the episode when Arnold got kidnapped, and yeah. fucking he was about to get molested by this random white dude with Dudley. And he escaped and it said, to be continued, had you on the edge of your I fucking was, seat. I was gonna say, I was gonna say like that episode of Punky Brewster when she got stuck in the refrigerator. Oh! But that also, again, may have been more kind of a white reference. I bought my fucking daughter, 
like the great. It's like it's, you can get them at Target. It's oh, like yeah. these fucking Punky Brewsters, the greatest. Well, like, there you go. See, they got like all the seasons. Hip hop trivia. Talk about names. Yeah. Did some race relation work. You know what else? Punky Brewsters. She looks hot. She's hot as fuck now. Really? She's not up, surprised. She, she's hot. What's not her name? Some, 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 she got a weird ass name, like some type of hippie shit. Like, like. satanic backwards? Mm -hmm. <laughs>